bum bum da 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 bum bum da hello welcome to the ruby stygis or welcome back welcome to i think that's what christine normally says welcome back and welcome to the ruby's digest hello i'm monique and today i am bringing you as you can tell from the title five books to read on valentine's day happy valentine's day everyone we're here you know we're here some of us in a loving relationship others in loving fictional relationships and that works out you know that works out for everyone everyone gets what they want but anyway i have five recommendations for books that you guys probably have heard of but maybe not and i just want to bring these recommendations to your attention first up if you haven't read red white or royal blue by casey glisten i don't know what you've been doing like take a moment and read this it is such a good book it follows the prince of england and the first son of the president of the united states and their love affair you know it's great it's like enemies to friends to lovers and that's fun enemies to friends friends to lovers enemies to fake friends to friends to lovers there you go. So it's got a little bit of fake dating. Pretty much there's like an international incident where they embarrass both the governments and they decide to rehab their reputation by getting them to hang out and doing special appearances and then a love blossoms from there. It is literally perfection and I say take a great deal of time reading this and swooning over these boys because they're just so cute and Casey has made this is one of my favorite books written by her. Next! I have another favorite. It is Take a Hint by Danny Brown. It is the second in the Brown Sisters trilogy by Talia Hibbert. And it is my favorite one of the three. This is the follow-up to Get a Life, Chloe Brown. And it follows the workaholic Danny. And she just wants, you know, a consistent, I don't even know how she uses it. She just wants like a consistent fling you know nothing serious she just wants someone that she could always count on for a little fun time you know and the universe gives her what she needs and not what she wants and she needs a lovely security guard named Saphir and they are so cute together I recommend this if you are a fan of fake dating you guys know I am always down for the fake dating and this they have a little incident it's like a mutual need to help each other out so it's very cute I love it if you haven't read it please do please do. next so we have neon gods by Katie Roberts and y'all when I say I loved this book it was a surprise I really was not expecting to like this book as much as I do like this was a five star for me it's a Hades and Persephone retelling if you didn't know it's just a good retelling about how Persephone and Hades get together it's got some spice in there y'all it is a fun time I recommend it I'm, I'm about to read Electric Idol which is the sequel to this so if anyone wants to know what the world is like I say start with this one first and then jump into Electric Idol but I'll let y'all know if you can just read straight into Electric Idol but that's not important. What's important is to start with the good start with the goods okay start with the goods and that is Neon Gods. And then I'm gonna do a twofer. If you guys you know want a little emotion if you guys want to feel a little tear run down your cheek I recommend these two for you you know why you know because love isn't always sunshine and rainbows you know sometimes you have to work hard for these relationships and i feel like these authors did a great job in giving us that simple wild uh follows by k tucker great time it follows a girl who's reconnecting with her father and like the remote parts of alaska and she's helping him with his aviation business and she falls for you know the Alaskan pilot and it's a hate to love relationship and it is a good time it's really a really good and emotional and I would recommend for people who want a little a little more substance to the romance you know something that touches the heartstrings that is this and you guys know I couldn't have a romance recommendation video without mentioning my favorite book Beach Read. If you want to cry, this is the one book that really made me cry. I didn't really actually cry on this one, but tears was shed. I don't even know. I didn't even know I was crying. I had to touch my cheek. I was like, 
is this moisture coming out of my eyelids? I was crying. It really hit me. And this is that kind of book. I feel like I can see, I actually can see why people are divisive because the back of the book doesn't lend you to think it's gonna be as heavy hitting as it is. But Emily really unpacked a lot of emotional grief and those type of themes in this book while also writing a spot on romance. It was so good. I would guess I would also put them in the hate to love category, Augustus and January. I would put them in the hate to love category. Yeah, you know, who doesn't? <laughs> oh, I just, I talk about this all the time, but y'all, it was just such a good book. Dealing with January's grief, her father has passed and she's going to this beach house to pack things up, get things going, you know, deal with all that. And of course, next door is her rival from college because they're both authors. Her rival from college is next door writing his next book and she's supposed to be writing a book too but she's dealing with a lot of other emotional family things and it's just a hate to love romance that is so good so these are the books that i recommend for you guys to try on valentine's day you know i think it's a fun time <laughs> and if you like these books you know, if you read them, let us know your thoughts down below. Well, let me know, because, you know, uh, your thoughts, how you feel about these books. But they're some of my faves. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe if you want to see more of our content. And the content bell thing lets you know when the content is dropping. I'm, how many times can I say content in a sentence? I'm sure I could test that, you know. But today is not the day to do that. So this is it. These are the f five books I'm recommending today. I have so many more recommendations so let me know what type of recommend romance recs you guys want from me and I'll try my best to get y'all what I can you know I'm still kind of new to the genre but I feel like I'm working my way through a long backlist of things and I'm liking the ones I like and I'm not liking the ones I don't like anyway until next time happy valentine's day everyone bye